Hey guys, welcome back. It's uh, Ruben here with uh, another video for you. Um, I wanted to start off by showing you a fun game that I discovered um, that I did not play outside of my EHA machine, um, but I found it amongst the many gems uh, that this thing has, and it has a ton. Um, it's called Pool Nation, and it was originally released for the Steam, then went on to the PS4, I believe, Xbox. Um, and with the computer, you played it with a mouse. PS4, obviously, you played it with the controls. But uh, it makes a, what makes it different with the EHA machine is you can actually use the trackball, and I'm going to show you what's going on. You can find the game right around uh, the Madden games. It's right here. It's uh, You can pass over it just like a lot of these games. <laughs> and not see it if you're never looking for it. But uh, I came across it and uh, really cool game. Well, what makes it unique on this machine though is that you can use the trackball, whereas normally you'd be using a controller or a mouse. Keep in mind, <clears throat> your Mega K pedestal, whatever you get, every button on here is a keyboard assigned key. And what I did is I printed out the sheet. Have one of these handy, keep them, keep them handy because it'll show you every single button and its corresponding key, keyboard letter. Up, down, left, right, control, right, shift, etc., and so forth. And even when I first started playing this, I actually put these color coded stickers with the corresponding letter on it on there to familiarize yourself with it. And it just helps. Just a tip. So here's a typical nine ball game. And as you can see, I'm using the trackball. And it just gives it a little bit of, of a different gameplay. So by using the keys on it, on the pedestal, you use it just like you would on a keyboard. So right here, I can pull up the menu and it'll show you left, miss, left mouse click, middle mouse click, right mouse click. And it'll basically show you all the controls. And so you can change the angle of your pull stick you can change the English on it and when you're ready you can pull back that trackball control the amount of speed you want to hit it with and in this game these arrow signs will show uh, what your next ball in this game of nine ball is that you have to get in the pocket Another cool thing is when you pull up right here, you can actually toggle the view on it and play it from a different different perspective, which comes in handy when you're trying to get that trick shot. showing you a little bit of gameplay. I prefer the 3D view. Um, it's a little cooler, but when you get those tough shots, you know, it does come in handy to see it from a top-down perspective. Boom, there we go. Again, you can pull up that menu. You can swing all the way around. The trackball just gives it a way cooler uh, feel gameplay, especially when you're playing with another player, it feels like you're playing a, a machine in, say, Bar, Dave and Buster's, what have you. Oh, it scratched. <laughs> the AI on it's not, uh, the beginner, it's not too bad. 
it definitely ramps up though in the higher settings and it can get pretty pretty uh, difficult. Let me try this shot right here. Pull it back just a little bit for that speed. Boom. And let's see if I can put this thing in the bed here. Yeah. One more and I got this. Boom. Anyways, Pool Nation, awesome drinking game, awesome chill game with another friend, and uh, another game that's just a lot more fun on the machine. Uh, there's another uh, fun gem that I actually discovered on my V-Pin before I discovered it on uh, my EHA machine, and it's called uh, Ice Cold Beer. It's about probably my favorite thing in life besides guitar and metal, <laughs> um, made by Taito, and uh, it's actually a mechanical game. Uh, it was released in 1983, and they came out with a, fran a family version of it called Zeke's Peak. Um, well, well, like all these videos uh, that I'll do, I won't go too deep in deep in the history of it stuff. Uh, Google's your best friend, but uh, I'm just more like showing you the gameplay and whatnot. But uh, let's check it out. Ice cold beer. And it's uh, right up here near the main. It's a couple steps down the street. And in this category, there's actually a, a root beer version too. But it's Zeke Speaks, the family version, and Ice Cold Beer is the OG. Again, it was a mechanical game, so they've kind of reproduced it uh, as an arcade game, digital game, what have you. It's still fun. And it's, uh, again, of course, being about beer, it's a good party game. But, uh, you can use, this one employs both of the joysticks, which makes it interesting. And if you ever played this game before, it's pretty simple. It's just about getting the ball into the hole. So the right stick lifts the right side, left stick lifts or lowers the left side. And again, the object of the game is just to tilt and get that ball in there. You'll go up until you reach the top. And uh, again, you can play with two players, and whoever's the best gets the most points. It's basically just points given. A lot of fun. Not too much to it. It's a very casual game. But if you got some tunes on in the background, it's a good party, good drinking game. I'll just show you a couple more minutes of the gameplay of it. And, uh, it's not as easy as you think it is. It can get it gets tough real fast. But the more you play with the sticks, oh, the better you get at it. I think I play this uh, game better when I have some beer. <laughs> I'm going to show an example of this on my V-Pin too. Um, and show you what it's like. A little different. Graphics are a little bit different. Uh, but these kinds of games are pretty awesome on the V-Pin too. Because you're right on top of the screen. Anyways, ice cold beer. Okay, uh, this next game is uh, a gun game. 
and uh, it's called Clay Pigeon. It's made by a company called Exidy, and they did uh, these really old, old school, like gun games back in the day. Uh, Crossbow, Cheyenne, to name a few. Just fun, simple games, but also really good party um, games. Have a couple beers with your friends and uh, just shoot some stuff. So, Clay Pigeon, let's check it out. users you will find it over here in gun games. I'm using my buddy here, the peacemaker, for this one. And I do have recoil guns. You can set the amount of recoil you want on the guns so it's not so annoying. For a game like this, it doesn't bother me personally. For games where there's lots of shooting, the recoil can get a little repetitive, and so you can turn it off. You can still add the coins right here on the machine, and only one player. You can choose the color of your crosshair. And you'll learn how to calibrate the gun in your instruction manual. Oh, missed it. Yeah, not bad. Okay, I got a this last game I'm going to show in the video today. It's just a request I had about uh, Game Boy games, and I wanted to show a gem I used to rock when I was in my younger days. I don't really play these ones too much anymore, but uh, if you want to, if you want to go back, you want to go deep, uh, there's, I think, every pretty much every, every Game Boy game ever made on here. So let me show you as a this old gem that I used to rock back in the day. You probably still play too, occasionally. Groovy's Pinball Land. And so again, you can use the controls right on here like you normally would a Game Boy. I'm using the second button here as the right paddle and the joystick goes to the left. And then uh, player two, or player one button, I'm sorry, is the edge.
This is a great cab potato game back in the day. I never had a Game Boy Advance, so I just had the OG. And I love this game. And it's still fun to this day. Good game's a good game. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, appreciate you. Um, any requests, just throw it in the comments if something you want to see. Again, I won't go too deep on the history of some games. Uh, but I'll show you the gameplay, show you how it works on the EHA machine. Uh, till then, later.